was a beautiful question, super challenging. In an examination, there were 75 questions. Three marks were attacked, were awarded for each correct answer. Plus three for correct answer. One mark was detected for each wrong answer. And one mark was awarded for each unattempted question, not attempted. Right? Plus three, minus one, plus one. Right. Ryan scored a total of 97 marks in the examination. The number of unattempted questions was greater than the number of attempted questions. This, let's say x, y, z, z is greater than x plus y. All three put together is 75 or z is more than half of it. 38 or more, 37 or less. x plus y could be 37, x, z could be 38. 38 or more, 37 or fewer. At least 38 questions were unattempted. And that's what we know. Then the maximum number of correct answers that Ryan could have given in the examination total is 97, meaning 97 marks totally. So we can say 3x minus y. Plus z equals 97. We know x plus y plus z is 75. We know z is greater than or equal to 38. So this is where we stand. And so there's a beautiful way of kind of tackling this, simplifying this. This is a plus 3, minus 1, plus 1. Generally, in our world, unattempted questions have given are given no marks. So we say 75 totally. Every question you get some mark. That's a given. I'm going to remove that from the equation completely. I'm going to alter this equation dramatically. I'm saying, instead of getting plus 3, minus 1, plus 1, I'm a strict teacher. I walk in and I say, for every question, I remove a mark. Every question, I remove a mark. That is, every plus 3 will become plus 2. Every minus 1 will become minus 2. Every 1 will become 0. Unattempted questions, you get 0 marks. I'm removing an x, y, z totally from it. From this, we subtract x plus y plus z. Algebraically, what are we doing? We're subtracting this equation from this. 2x minus 2y equals 22. Conceptually, what are we doing? We're removing 75 marks. Each question, we're cutting one mark. Or the total mark is not 97, it's only 22. You get 2x minus 2y equals 22. 2x minus 2y is 22 or x minus y is 11. Right? We want the maximum possible value of x. Right? x plus y can be a maximum of 37. This is a maximum value. x plus y maximum is 37. How do I know that? Because it, this total z is more than x and y put together. So, if x plus y is higher, that's when x can be higher. Add these two. So, the maximum value of 2x is 48 or x maximum is 24. We know x minus y is 11. That much we have figured out. We've got. We can figure out now that x plus y maximum is 37. Only if x plus y is the higher x plus y can go to, the higher x can be. Maximum it can go to is 37. 2x is 48, x is 24 x is 24, that gives y as 13, 24 correct answer, 13 incorrect answers, adding up to 37, 38 uh, unattempted, that will give us answer or the maximum number of correct answers that Ryan could have given in the examination is 24, 24 into 3 is 72 plus 13, uh, 24 into 3 is 72 plus how much is this? 13 into 1, 13 into minus 1 and then remaining 38 into plus 1 should add up to 97.